from the American Cancer Society in 1986. I hope you can see that. 1986, the American Cancer Society came out and said, you know, fruits and vegetables is what you should be eating if you have cancer and if you want to avoid cancer. Hello, now you can have rattlesnake, kangaroo, buffalo, you can have anything you want. They'd surrender their degree and go quietly away and find a job somewhere in an office somewhere, maybe being a bookkeeper. Because this is insanity. And any medical doctor would think that he doesn't deserve to be a medical doctor. This is chemistry, boys. This is chemistry and physics at work, and you can't run and hide. And what's interesting is all the pathy went down the protein. You need protein. You need protein. Protein is the very thing you don't want to do if you have cancer. Let me tell you, this is all acidic, high nitrogen foods. Uh-uh. You'll never overcome it with this sort of thing. You want to get to your fruits and vegetables, and particularly fruits, because they're astringent. Why would astringents be so important? Or what system is involved in cancers? The lymph predominantly, except for a few blood cancers, but most leukemias are created from the lymph breaking down your bone marrow and spleen. And then, of course, a lot of leukemias are created from the use of chemo. We get a lot of people in here that got leukemia from chemo. I have this beautiful little girl's picture here. Maybe I'll show it here to you. Uh, and, we'll, we'll, and this is just a, a one of millions of kids. This is a little girl here that, uh, uh, 10 years old, she had uh, childhood leukemia. Children are much easier to deal with with leukemia because they're in a growth stage. And uh, they gave her a chemo, of course. She, uh, she started uh, blistering and, 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 and going up, so they gave her steroids. And it's like, push, pull, push, pull. And, of course, the little girl died, typically. And it's like, this makes me want to throw up. It does not have to happen. And then yet they promote themselves as being the great ones with the white coats and the stethoscopes. I tell you something, wake up, guys, if you're listening to this, because you're in a, a situation where you must gain knowledge and learn what we're talking about and save yourself. Because this is a serious problem, and now the kids are full of cancer. Why? What's genetically being passed down the uh, pike here in most lines that are creating these problems? Let's go back to the system most cancers are in, the lymph system. What do you think we're passing genetically? Weak kidneys, weak adrenals. How, how many people have low blood pressure? How about the kids? Extremely low blood pressure. Neurologically, their autonomic nervous systems are shot at birth. And then we give them anesthesia, we give them some neurotoxic vaccines, and then they go into ADD, ADHD, they go into convulsions. I mean, what are we doing to our people for the sake of health? We're lost. The human race is lost. And if you don't wake up, the termination of most people, maybe that's the goal with that World Health Organization, that if you want to live, I suggest highly you learn the rules of the road. You learn the rules of nature. You learn the rules of the body, the rules of chemistry, the two sides of chemistry, the fact that acids is the corrosive side of chemistry. You go to any chemist and they'll tell you that. Most chemists know what cancer is easy, and I gave you one in part one about a CNN doing a special on cancer. Look it up. They probably have it where you can Google it. All, all boils down to one major fluid and one side of chemistry. That's the lymph fluids and the acid side of chemistry, and that's where you can find the bulk of man's pain and suffering. Change your diet, change your intake of chemistry and physics, and the whole thing turns around on you. Yes, there are symptoms in detox where, where you get congestion, you get mucus out, tumors disappear, aches and pains as your body's rebuilding tissue that's been damaged. But you can't rebuild tissue in an acid medium. You can't get healthy in an acid medium. Why would you give more acids to a person? That should be criminal. You prosecutors need to start prosecuting the use of chemotherapy. Judges are forcing children to take chemo. That little boy that survived, he, uh, he only survived because of the natural products that he was taking. And I'll, I'll tell you this. You know, there's this big deal that we all we are low on the supplies of chemo, that people are needing this vital life-saving drug. Are you serious? That's propaganda. That's lies. There's no such thing. This, this, this isn't Jesus juice. 
This is serious, serious trouble. This is an acid that will rip your cells apart in your body and we belly right up to it. Hey, give me a dose of acid. Well, people do it every time they drink a Coke or Pepsi or Dr. Pepper or soft drink. Those are cellular acids, about 3 pH, most soft drinks. And that's the kind of acid that will destroy cells, and yet we want to give them something more like hydrochloric acid or closer to battery acid. You know the classic name for chemo in nursing? Drano. Huh, why? Because it has that effect. How many people do you know that when they went into a, an artery down here that you saw the collapse of that artery or vein? Vein mainly. See the collapse of that. Right down, the, right down to the brachial and down. So now we don't do this anymore, do we? No, we go right into the aorta. Yeah, we go right in there. You know, this is this is, this stuff is insane. This is, this is, man has to wake up from this uh, barbaric, dark agey type of thinking and start realizing what health is really about. And then you can regenerate your children because if you want to have a healthy downline. People